In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called inverse functions, linear, discrete. We're given two functions here, g and h, and we're asked to find a couple of things. First, we are asked to find g inverse of 9. Normally, we would be putting an x into a function and getting out a y, but since this is g inverse, we're actually putting in y's and getting out x's. And we can see from these sets that whenever we put in a y value of 9, the x value is negative 2. So g inverse of 9 is negative 2. And our next question is to find h inverse of x. We're given h of x is 4x plus 3. To find h inverse of x, we're going to first remember that h of x is our y. So h of x would be y equals 4x plus 3. So to find h inverse, I'm going to switch the y with an x, and I'm going to switch the x with the y. And now that I've switched those two variables, if I solve this for y, that will be h inverse. So to solve for y, I can subtract the 3 over to the other side. x minus 3 equals 4y. And then I can divide by 4 on both sides. And we now have y equals x minus 3 over 4. This y is our inverse function. So the inverse function for h of x is x minus 3 over 4. And our last question here, h of inverse h of negative 1. We know that an inverse function undoes the original function. So h of the inverse will always be x. When you put an inverse function into the original function that it is an inverse of, it will always return the same value. So we don't need to calculate anything here other than recognize that a composite of a function and its inverse will always have an output that is the same as the input. So putting a negative 1 into an inverse function and then the original function will always be the same as what was put in, so negative 1. 